In the book of Corinthians, Paul lays out the map to a home built upon love. He states, love never gives up. Love cares more for others than for self. Love doesn't strut, doesn't have a swelled head, doesn't force itself on others. It isn't always me first, doesn't fly off the handle. Love doesn't keep score of the wrongs of others, doesn't think it's funny when others are ashamed. Love takes pleasure in the flowering of the truth. Love puts up with bad times and trusts God always. Love always looks for the best, never looks back, but keeps on going. Love never dies. Ryan, will you take Jackie to be your wife? Will you commit yourself to her happiness and her self-fulfillment as a person? Will you promise to love, honor, trust, and serve in her in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Jackie, will you take Ryan to be your husband? Will you commit yourself to his happiness and his self-fulfillment as a person? Will you promise to love, trust, honor, and serve him in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Since they have made these commitments before God in this assembly by the authority of the state of Illinois, I declare that Ryan and Jackie are husband and wife. Ryan, you may kiss your bride. God bless this couple and give them the wisdom, courage, and understanding to grow closer in their relationship every day. And may these uh, two families and friends come together as one to support this couple on their journey together. Bless us, Lord, in these thy gifts which we are bound to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. First off, I would like to thank the bride and groom 
but say I cannot believe I was trusted with two whole minutes of this wedding. <laughs> All eyes on me. All right. For those that don't know me, my name is Andrew, and I am today's best brother. I met Ryan way back in the 90s when times were simple. When I would annoy him and he would try and teach me to not annoy him. It took me a long time to learn my lesson. It wasn't until he left for the Navy that I knew I had to grow up. And growing up, in my eyes, my brother was always the strongest, most confidently cool and driven person I'd ever known. I would even brag to bullies that my big brother could beat their brother up. And that's still true. It was a simpler time. But now that we're men, we can do anything and my brother decided to marry the love of his life. And I could not be any happier for him and my new sister-in-law, Jackie. Jackie, I wrote my speech 100 times over. There's no words that I could come up with to tell you how much I love you, and how much of a wonderful person you are. You make friends with everyone. You make it seem so easy by just talking their ear off for a little while. Um, you totally light up any room. This whole wedding is so beautiful, just like you. Um, you deserve everything, Ryan such a blessing to have you in our family. Um, I'm so happy my sister has found not only her soulmate, but someone to clean up after her. Mm. <laughs> right. Let's raise the toast for Jackie and Ryan. Cheers. 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 All right guys, thanks so much for having us here.